but it is time for search mode, and we are talking about Donald Trump again, the latest Trump controversy. He called Senator Lindsey Graham an idiot, and then he gave out his private cell phone number. Sounds like a scorned ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. This happened at a rally in Graham's home state of South Carolina. Let's take a listen to Donald Trump himself. He's like begging me to help him with Fox and Friends. So I say, okay, and I'll mention your name. And he gave me his number, and I found the card. It, I wrote the number down. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, it's three, four years ago, so maybe it's an old number. Really? Donald Trump. Okay, so Lindsey Graham at least had fun with it, tweeting this. Probably getting a new phone, iPhone, or Android. So I guess we don't really know what Lindsey Graham's into these days when it comes to phones. But after all these controversial comments, some in the GOP say Trump has crossed the line. But a recent poll from the Washington Post and ABC News finds Trump on top, with 24% of registered Republican voters supporting him, nearly twice as much as the next contender. So let's talk to one of those Trump supporters now. Gina Loudon joins us now. She is a behavioral and psychology expert and an outspoken fan of Donald Trump. Gina, thanks so much for being here. What is it about Donald Trump that you support? His absolute unpolishedness, his lack of establishment politics as usual, his ability to be completely authentic and transparent, even when it gets him into trouble. I think, and, and, and let me clarify that I have not endorsed him for president. I'm enjoying what he's adding to the dialogue. I'm enjoying that he, he makes mistakes, that he says what he really thinks, that he's not this packaged politician like a Clinton or a Bush or a McCain or a Lindsey Graham. That's what, that's what I think America likes about him. And that's why I think he's pulling from younger people who want something fresh and new and they're tired of politics as usual in both parties. But you know, what about the way he goes about insulting people? I mean, he talks about Lindsey Graham. He calls him an idiot. He, 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 he gives out his phone number. He said John McCain's a dummy. Um, John Kasich, desperate. Rick Perry needs new glasses. Lindsey Graham, stiff. What a stiff. I mean, is that the kind of guy you want to see as the leader of, of the free world of the United States? I think people want to see a leader, period, who's fearless. I think people are tired of politicians that are afraid. And let's not forget that Lindsey Graham called Donald Trump a jackass, jackass prior to that. So I think Donald Trump was just kind of going back at him. And I think people like seeing somebody that's not afraid to get in the face of establishment Washington, D.C. politicians like Lindsey Graham, who is the, the, the absolute consummate establishment Washington, D.C. politician. So I do think that, um, you know, while Donald is clumsy. He's not of their ilk. He's not an establishment candidate. And he I may, think okay, that's so he may not be an establishment office. candidate, but he's he's never held office, right? He's filed for bankruptcy. He's skirted around, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, the military. I think five separate times. Again, someone you want to see as the leader of the free world. He's done some great things in business. And right now, I think what America's focused on is jobs. And I think his willingness to lead says to Americans, hey, maybe he'd be willing to uh, lead us if we were in situations like we're going through with Iran and other things. Um, and, and we're not seeing that leadership right now. And we're not really seeing it with names that we've seen for years and years and years. I think people look at that and go, hmm, he might be worth looking at. He's at least adding something to the political conversation that nobody has for a long, long time. Yeah, I he, think he, that's what people find he's interesting. He's definitely putting his that. opinions out there, and I think speaking honestly, yeah. and we can all agree on that. Gina Loudon, we appreciate your opinion, thank and you. thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. So this is actually really neat. So Time Magazine tweeted a link to the Trump insult generator, and a lot of you are sharing it on Facebook. It's built on a sort of the real-life insults taken from Trump's Twitter feed. The generator provides a Trump insult for every single person. So here's what we got when we typed in my name. Um, Yasmin Vesugian is a totally overrated clown who speaks without knowing the facts. Thank you. Oh, Koi Wire, you, yes, over to you. you. Hey, look, there's no <laughs> doubt that this guy, he comes across as a solipsistic, egomaniacal fist pumper, right? But he also comes across as a guy who cares not about political correctness. And it's apparent a lot of people are into that, Yasmin. We'll see how this thing turns out. Yeah.